This is how to reset your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers and fix any problem like the controllers not working or not responding with your MetaQuest 3 or 3S headset. Now the process is quite simple. First things first, you want to remove the batteries or replace the batteries from the controllers and the way you do that is to just press on this button at the top of the battery pack over here and it's just going to pop up. Now what you want to do is to just remove your batteries and you want to actually replace them with new ones because sometimes the problem you might be having with your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers might actually be a weak battery or poor batteries that you've inserted inside of the controllers and sometimes these batteries also run down real quick as well so you want to replace the batteries just like so quiet and cover up the battery pack and at this point you want to get to your MetaQuest 3 or 3S headset go ahead and long press on the power button usually on the right hand side over here you just want to long press on it for about 10 seconds until you find out that your MetaQuest 3 or 3S headset is turned off Okay, so the light is now off, meaning that the headset is now turned off. What you want to do at this point is to just go ahead and turn it on one more time. And this time, you can now proceed to try using your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers. And trust me, it is going to work perfectly fine without any problem. Keep in mind that if the issue you're having is with both controllers, then you want to make sure you also change the batteries of both controllers as well. But if after trying this, you're still unable to use your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers, what you can actually do is to get the Meta Horizons app. And over here is the Meta Horizons app on my phone. Basically, what we are going to be doing is to unpair both controllers and then pair them back with the MetaQuest 3S or the MetaQuest 3 headset. So you want to click on the three line icon at the top left corner or at the bottom right corner, depending on where it is located on your phone. So once you open it up, you're going to find the devices tab over here, then select the name of your MetaQuest 3 or 3S and then add the page over here you're going to see the headset settings this is actually covering it up but this is it you want to select it and then from here you're going to see the controllers this is basically going to give you the battery percentage of both controllers on your MetaQuest 3S or your MetaQuest 3. And if you're having problem with both controllers and you want to reset both controllers or just reset one of the controllers, in my case, it is the right controller over here. I'll go ahead and select it and then just click on the unpair button, click on unpair. Once it is unpaired, I will get my right controller, which is basically over here. Proceed to change the batteries. So click on this button to open up the battery pack, remove my batteries that are actually bad. And then I'll go ahead and get new batteries, insert them inside of the headset and then close my battery pack. At this point, what you want to do is to come over to the Meta Horizons app again, click on the controllers option and then you want to click on the add a new controller option over here. Now you're going to be asked whether you want to add a right or a left controller. I'll go ahead and click on my right controller. And then at this point, basically what you want to do is to come over to your controller then long press on the metal logo and the B button simultaneously for about five seconds. So just press and hold for about five seconds until your controller vibrates. Once it vibrates, you just want to leave it, give it some few seconds to pair with the Meta Horizons app. And just like so, it is now paired. You can click on the continue button on your Meta Horizons app and click on done. And that is basically all you have to do to reset and fix any problem like your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers not working properly with the headset. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel, guys.